Talking about things that are starting to grow and not in a good way, that is what's happening on our southern border. And the latest is Iranian illegal unlawful entrant on the terror watch list gets into the United States as an unlawful entrant, does not get picked up by ICE. And I'm not disrespecting ICE here. They got their hands full, but gets picked up by the Texas uh, Highway Patrol on a stop. And this was a federal government that didn't want the states involved in this, remember? And this West individual was on the terror watch mm-hmm. is on the terror watch list. oh yeah he is actually the 39th person on the terror watch list apprehended since the first of october uh the, the the list the rate of these people being caught has gone up dramatically in the last two years for example last year under the biden president there were 98 people that were caught on the terror watch list the year before that president trump's last year there were 15 the year before that president trump's third year in office there were three the, the number of terror suspects being apprehended on the border is directly related to our border being open and porous. And people around the world know that you can enter the United States illegally. The other thing that's most disconcerting about this is that this man was caught not by the people who were supposed to catch him, but caught by the state patrol. Yeah, and well, I don't want to blame uh, no, not uh, at all. Customs, Immigration, Border Control. We're not saying none of us are saying that they're no, overwhelmed. Absolutely. But the federal government did not want the states involved in this. That's right. And and not only that, this man is part of that group, and we don't even know how large the group is of the unknown gotaways. They know about certain gotaways. They either observe them or electronically they observe them and can't catch them. Those are called known gotaways. He is part of the unknown gotaways. And when it comes down to it, Jay, concerning people on the terrorism watch list, we know they are here. We just don't know how many. We don't know who they are. We don't know where they are. Thankfully, this state trooper caught this particular person who's on that list. Not surprisingly, DHS has no comment about this. But the truth is, if it wasn't for the work of Governor Abbott and his team and the Texas Department of Highway Patrols, this individual who's on the terror watch list, currently on the terror watch list from Iran, would have been operating inside the United States. And that in and of itself, Jordan, is a real problem. Yeah, I mean, so you look at the years. There are 98 people who have been arrested this year on the terror watch list because out of control at the board. The numbers are out of control. Uh, 15 in 2021. You go back to 2020, though, there were only uh, three. That's because the borders weren't porous, and that wasn't a good way to get into the country. So if you needed to get into the, you didn't try to go through and kind of put yourself in with migrants as a terrorist. I mean, to get on that list is fairly serious, especially out of Iran. Uh, so uh, to me... What it, what it underscores is what we, again, we don't have enough law enforcement, at the, federal law enforcement at the border. We have them at, acting as humanitarian staff, not military. That didn't turn out well for our troops in Afghanistan uh, when they weren't put in that position as well. 13 ended up killed because they weren't being uh, utilized as military, which is to protect and kill, but uh, to process people. And this issue, again, by chance, they stop a vehicle with, with four, you know, four or five of these people. I'm sure they know what to look for. And out of those four or five people, one of them is an Iranian terrorist. Well, and we know this, and we'll point this out just now in our chat. And this is, Wes, this is, this is really troubling when you think about it. We know, for instance, our colleague, Mike Pompeo, has a fatwa against him from the Ira- Iranian regime. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, currently, yeah. that's why yeah. he maintains high security profile. Protection. About to kill him. But yes, yeah, I mean they want to, they want to take him out because of Soleimani. We are in danger, and we don't know with with all of these gotaways whether they're observed or not observed. You know, we don't know who they are. We don't know what they're about. We do know that some of them are on the terror watch list. Since President Biden became President, Jay, 1.2 million people, according to the, to the Customs and Border Protection Services, 1.2 million people have gotten away illegally crossing I mean, that border. I mean, think about that number for a moment. One one million. 200,000 mm-hmm. people. Yes. And this one was, this was, listen, it was very fortunate that the Texas Highway Patrol got him. That was a good thing. But this is a very dangerous time at our border. Now, we're trying to figure, remember they got away, did away with Operation Talon, which was how you were dealing with the uh, human trafficking, which is a gigantic problem that's affecting every city in the country. We were talking about it where our studios are based. Right down the street, they had it. They busted up a ring. Right around the corner, they busted up a ring. Because if you're on a major expressway 
that's what they're happening. As a pastor, you dealt with that too. I mean, oh, we, I, we always call you Colonel Smith because you are, but you're, yeah. you, were, you, were, you were chaplain and a pastor. Yeah, that's one of the travesties of this open border and the Biden administration's refusal to do anything about it or take it seriously. It's not only the terrorism, the national security uh, issue, but also the human trafficking, the sex trafficking, and most of those victims are underage females, as well as the fentanyl. There are 200 people a day in America being poisoned by fentanyl. Mm. And, you know, the other thing, you look at some of these stats, Jay, uh, since October the 1st, this fiscal year, I looked this up this morning, there have been 304,045 gotaways reported by CBP. These are the ones they know about since October the 1st, mm. 304,045. That is 2,400 gotaways per day. 304,000 that they know of. Yes. I mean, these numbers are staggering. 